right, so Saturday, Chesley's in Northeast Pennsylvania is having a fall consignment auction. Now, having said that, it is Wednesday afternoon, about 3.30 in the afternoon, and normally I would wait till, well, I'd wait 24 hours, but tomorrow I'm gonna be plowing, and uh, with the rain we've had, I wanted to give that field an extra day to dry out, and so I'm coming here early, keep that in mind, there's probably going to be a lot more stuff here, almost no doubt in my mind. I haven't even looked at the place yet, so I don't know what's there. We're just going to kind of shoot from the hip and go from there. So let's check this out and see what they got going on on Saturday. Who knows, maybe I'll do a live stream at the auction. All right, so here we are, and this is a consignment sale it's not just farm stuff I mean there's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff this is more like gardening stuff antique whatnot um, but they do have a slew of tires here I'm not going to be able to go through all of them just know that they're here <laughs> if you're local and most of the ones that are for like cars or light trucks seem to be at least half tread or higher so yeah 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 hey, here's some Michelins, they're pretty good. I mean, sheesh, that's at least half a penny. Anyway, so, yep, pretty good. And then uh, if you come up here, there's a lot of miscellaneous stuff. There just is really too much to go through. Uh, mowers over here. Um, and then that doesn't even include inside the building, which I probably will walk into once I've covered this stuff here. You know, I mean, like right there, you got a you got a sea do Bombardier. That was a Canadian company. I know that. I think they moved here, and they make uh, wheelers as well. But uh, here's some tracks, and I wonder if those are. Oh, it's written on there. 300T Bobcat. All right, yeah. So you just put those on there if you don't have tracks on your skid steer. So yeah, ladders tanks I mean there's just so much stuff you know I mean there's even like hand tools here pulse tool digger I mean just gardening tools mainly little chainsaw what is that chainsaw Macala yeah boatload of stuff man Belts out the wazoo. Jeez. Look at this stack of belts. Husqvarna chainsaw over there. Sitting on that. And then, I don't know. Welded wire. Fencing of sort. Gardening or whatever. Just trying to buzz through this stuff, most of it. Got trailers here. Reasonably sure they're titled. This would be good for hauling around the wheeler. Looks like about a, oh, probably a six by 10. Yeah, in pretty good shape. Yeah, it's enough tread. And I think any trailer under 16 foot in Pennsylvania does not require inspection. So, correct me if I'm wrong about that, you Pennsylvanians. Alright, got a car hauler here. I've never liked these because you put the front wheels up there and you wear the rear ones out. I'm Depends on how far you're hauling it. Then we got a drop spreader here. Tinker. Be good for food plot or something like that. Yeah, it looks pretty clean actually. Hmm. Yep. Yep, then there you go. 
used on food plots works well with either lime or fertilizer needs drive tire replace spare tire included there you go oh and here's another one basically identical to it it's an easy flow you can see that and then there's stuff over here pushed off to the side come over here and very light implements it looks like a bunch of oh cool I keep stepping in a hole it feels great on my knee and my um, in my ankle so anyways so there's two bottoms got a box scraper bushwhacker Just miscellaneous, mostly brush hogs and uh, back blades and moldboard plows. And you know, there's a tiller there. What kind is it? I don't even know. Pretty heavy duty. It's four footer. Again, it looks like something you'd use for food plots. All right. head over to these tractors yeah and uh, there's a Massey 245 and what's weird about that is that I think at the spring sale this was here I, I know it was a 245 um, I think Stony Ridge farmer has a 245 I think that's that's more it could be a 240 but uh, this a diesel looks to be clean looks to be all right, again, they'll fire it up. Good skins. You know, it's it's a brush hog tractor. You know, you got your single remote Cat 1 hitch in the back. We got an International 464 here. Oh, probably 45 horse. Let's see what the tag says. Yeah, not much, but yeah. There you go, and we got... Uh, there's the hours. 2300? Boy, that ain't no hours. Don't care if it is a utility, that's pretty low hours. Saying that it's a working tack, that is. And your fuel tank right here on the back. Easy access. You know, if you're just throwing five gallons in it, there you go. Massey 135, it's seen better days but you know then then again it does have good skins on it yeah it's seen a lot better day oh we got a bobcat a220 and uh, if I'm not mistaken that should be that should have the Deutz engine in it yeah I don't have a problem with their with their skid loaders I, I don't like their tractors I rented one one time just for doing food plots, and uh, boy, the PTOs are very underpowered. The uh, the tractor itself was like 35 horse in at the engine, and then the PTO was like 26. Had a seven foot uh, tiller on the back of it, and man, did that thing lug! But yeah, this looks pretty good. I don't know what their tags mean. Um, oh wow, check that out with cab. 1764 hours so it's not uh, road hard and put away wet AC check this out pretty heavy backhoe I mean that that's you know that that's not your little 20 horsepower Kubota backhoe that's that's a monster for sure and what do we got here case 1390 and uh, huh yeah Somebody might buy it. I don't know that front wheel assist. Single remote. It's wet everywhere. What would an auction be without a Ford? Sheesh. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time on these tractors that I have zero interest in, but I do have interest in this. Farmall Cub, Cubby, 
and uh, got the sickle bar with it. Pretty cool. Old Jeff Barrett, he bought him one, and I can't remember if yours has a sickle bar with it or not. I just cannot remember. These things are so easy to work on, though. I mean, I mean, look at that carburetor. There's my hand, half the size of the my hand, and uh, looks like it's missing a butterfly. Yeah, don't have to worry about the choke working. That's not a huge fix at all. That wouldn't scare me in the least. All right. Got a three-point hitch crop sprayer. Looks fairly new, and the booms themselves look to be 25 to 30 foot right in between there. Got the foamers on the end. And we got a John Deere 6600. And if I'm not mistaken, and I don't think I am, Massey 1105, you have a 6620. And I cannot remember if the head I sold would fit this tractor or, or tractor, this combine or not. And uh, appears to be in pretty good shape. Really, um, sold out of Sterling, Ohio, at least at one time. Pretty big steers on it. I mean, this is this is a bigger machine than what I have, at least the way the the tires are set up on it. I don't know if it's more horsepower. Um, you guys leave a comment down below if you know the horsepower and the bushel capacity of this 6600. This this might go for a penny. Um, I don't like to leave these on when not in use. You just snap these off, it opens up. If you're going to have them outdoors, it, it allows all the moisture to come out and not lock up and stay in there and rot your metal. Yep. That's fairly new on there. I think Ag Wild, you just put a new one on there. Huh. That's a little concerning. You can buy a whole auger tube, brand new auger tube for these if you wanted. 35 miles an hour? Yeah. In your dreams, going down a hill out of control. Yeah, and see here, you can see here too, this this needs dropped. I just drop them down, the, the, the little plates underneath here come off, and I throw those plates up in the cab. And that way you got, you know, anything that needs to run out, runs out. You know, don't look miserable to work on. I mean, no worse than, no worse than my Massey 550. That's for sure. But uh, yeah, skins are okay. 23.126. Now that's weird because that's the same size drive tire that's on my Massey 550, but these look bigger. I don't know. Yeah, it's the same exact tire, so. But the steers are heavier on this. All right, now that is weird. How does that head lock on there? I mean, it just catches right here. And then must be a pin or something that goes through here. I mean, am I missing something? Or is this missing something that you lock the head on with? I thought it had like squares out here on the end that it would have caught. Huh. Well, there you go. I could climb up and look at the separator hours on it. May not be accurate, but I can at least jump up here real quick and see. Jeez. new seat wow it's pretty clean man something about you John Deere guys I will admit you guys keep your your combines uh, pretty pretty darn clean all right what do we got we got 2800 hours that's not bad for a combine at all you know up around you know four or five and I'm concerned but 
at 2800 this thing's got a little bit of life left now is it accurate I don't know I just I just know what I'm reading just just saying what I'm saying but I don't know if I got it I wouldn't be able to make videos with it because I'm farm all fanatic but hey they pick some crops what's going on up here added support in there wonder if this thing sat out or what? Huh. I don't know. Seat's comfortable. Um, got the, got the tilt, but the tilt ain't working. Really, where it's at is good. I don't know. Not very complicated. That's for sure. Pretty simplistic. Looks like a decent combine. You're not going to buy anything and not have to put some work into it. That's just foolish talk. So got some seed and stuff down in there. It looks almost like it picked wheat. The last thing it picked was, was wheat. Which would make sense. Pick in July. Right around the 4th around here is when your, your wheat harvest is. And we shut her down. Be pretty funny. I'm doing this review and going and checking this out and that out. And my glasses ain't even working. Oh, we got a Massey 300. I'll tell you what, the Massey guys, I'm not sold on Massey combines. I just happen to have one. I think the one I've got, it does the job. Um, but these things, they were pretty bulletproof. I mean, good reviews that from the 300s to the 510s were uh, pretty good reviews. And, uh, huh, looks like a combination of oats and wheat in there. And it come uh, factory direct with the duct tape to keep everything from going out this thing needs welded up and or replaced go to a boneyard see if you can find a better one but at least they have the plates off this and that that has to be replaced that auger that's junk and then there's a bearing up underneath and a bevel gear up top that you know needs going through i don't know would i buy it for parts hmm? probably not and then you got the uh The old rigged up system and it goes right in there right into the pump and then sheesh I guess if it picks it picks yeah and I even open this one up too that's huh. yeah there's I'll tell you one thing where there's a lot of oil there's zero rust. Beep beep. There's a set of discs back here I want to go check out. Brilliant cedar. I think WT Farm Girl had one of these. Hers was bigger though. This one here, I don't know, might be 8, 10 foot tops. but. International 130 manure spreader, Namassi Ferguson 124 baler. What do we got here? Are these some Fords? Can't afford Fords? Hmm. Huh. Whew. We think those are Fords. Good for a farm all eight. Yeah. <laughs> well, you would you say they're eight footers, probably? Yeah. Eight foot. Yeah. All right, we're inside now. This is Kawasaki mule. My brother has one of these, and his is a uh, 2008. Loves it. So, I don't know. It's one of them deals. You got to drive it. You know, you just do. Oh yeah, love me a Craftsman. This is a GT5000, I've got a GT3000, so 
this would be probably early 2000s I'm guessing and it should have the Kohler engine in it go ahead and check that out hmm. no labeling on it but I'm reasonably sure that it is yep, hydrostat which that'll draw some of the power it's probably about 23 horse John Deere 225 Eddie, you got a 130. It's got the rear wheel weights on it, too. Now, I don't know. Table saw here. A little moped. Fun to ride until your friends find out. Yeah, Cub could idiot, boy. There you go, 1641. Yeah, it says runs. Yeah, this is back when they built tractors four-year lawn there's an Ingersoll 3014 and then an errands and there's a Husky 350 I'm a little bit uh, trigger shy on the Husqvarna's unless they're the XP's well there you go ski uh, stuff was piling in as I was leaving but again uh, I'll be in the saddle tomorrow plowing. I may do a live stream while plowing, so stay tuned for that possibility. And uh, we'll just go from there. But hey, they are what they are. I'll go to the sale on Saturday. I don't know if I'll bid on anything. Maybe a ride lawnmower. Maybe that 6 by 10 foot trailer. Haul my four wheeler around on or something. Ah. But uh, thanks for viewing. Hit that subscribe button. Well, let's go, let's grow. I'll see you tomorrow.